Hello again, everybody. This is Kevin Ring. Uh, so today I'm going to show you something really, really fun, but well, yeah, really fun. So I'm in Nova LCT in the offline simulator mode, AKA demonstration mode. And as you see, I have five sending cards or five processors to play with. Quite cool. But did you know that there's actually a way to set this to 10 processors? So today, I'm going to show you that. All right. So this is going to involve a little bit of XML configuration. So as a result, I'm going to keep everything in 4K. I'm going to do this quite slow and very deliberate with my actions. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my start tab and go to my Nova LCT shortcut. This will be under Nova star. And I'm going to right click Nova LCT, go to more and go to open file location. This will now navigate to the location of the shortcut. So on the shortcut file, I'm going to right click and say open file location. This now takes me to app data, roaming, Nova star, Nova LCT bin. Uh, by default, this is probably a shared folder. Just in general, if you navigate to the view tab, you can always hide and show hidden items. So on this page now, I'm going to hit type so I can arrange everything alphabetically. And I'm going to look for my config files. And I see one here, novalct.exe config file. I'm going to open this with a notepad or similar text edit. And it shows me all the XML scripting that creates the offline simulator. If I scroll down deliberately, I'm going to find a section here that says sender card cascade count. Right now it's set to five as the default, but I can change this up to 10. So I'm going to type in 10 for sender card cascade count value equals 10. And I'm now going to, oh, before I hit save, I'm going to make sure Nova LCT is closed down or else I'd have to do this again. So Nova LCT is now closed down, value 10, and we hit save. Now I can reopen Nova LCT. And I'm going to log in as a demonstration user, which remember the password is admin, A-D-M-I-N. I'll go to my screen configuration page. I'll go straight to screen connection. And sure enough, I have 10 sending cards to play with. So this is a really great manipulation you can do. So you can now pre-build your shows, test, work, and play with the power of 10 cascaded processors. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Feel free to pause on the frames, go in slow, find the script. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. And as always, like, subscribe, and everything else. And we'll see you around next time.